Hey, this is Dr. Brian Adkins with the Adkins Academy. Hey, I want to take an opportunity to go over one of our reading questions. This is actually one of the questions that we go through during our reading class. And so we have classes on Sundays and also on Wednesdays. So if you haven't joined yet, definitely what is keeping you from joining? Let me actually go over this one. Uh, you had an opportunity to take a look at it. Hopefully you did it on your own and let's see if we arrive at the same answer. All right. And so if we take a look at this, certainly you got to make sure that you're reading it very carefully and doing exactly what they say, exactly what they want. And so this is one of these FD questions. We call it FD. And so part of that is following directions. And so we talk about how to really analyze um, different questions and different types of questions and how to identify these different types of questions. And so this one, like I said, is an FD question, a follow direction question. So we have to really go step by step and understand exactly what they're asking you for. Do not deviate from uh, each one of the steps. Okay. And so if the Las Vegas water fountain show occurs in 45 minute intervals, right? So stop right there. So it occurs in 45 minute intervals, right? And so that means that one show and then the next show starts 45 minutes later. Okay. So 45 minute intervals. Okay. And the show lasts approximately eight minutes. So the show lasts approximately eight minutes, right? And so fine. Okay. So within that 45 minutes, you have the eight minutes of the show lasts. However, each show occurs 45 minutes after the previous show, okay? Um, and so given that, approximately what time will the fourth show start if the first show starts at 11.20 a.m.? And so if the first show starts at 11.20 a.m., right, then the next show would start 45 minutes later, right? The third show would start 45 minutes after the second show. And likewise, the fourth show would start 45 minutes after the third show. OK, and so given that when we look at the eight minutes, the eight minutes is here. Right. So there's the eight minutes there. So if you as you were doing this, you tacked on the eight minutes on top of the 45 minutes. That is not what the direction says. You got to make sure that you're following directions. OK. And so you have to be able to do that when it comes to the test. OK. And you have to be able to do it qu quickly. You don't have two or three or four minutes to answer the question. You have one minute to answer the question, really. And you should be doing it in less than a minute. OK. And so with that, recognizing that this would be 45, this would be 45 and this would also be 45. That's three 45 minute intervals. And so 45 with another 45 is 90. Right. With the third 45 uh, would be 135. And so and that's 135 minutes. Right. And so one hour is 60 minutes. And so therefore two hours would be 120 minutes. OK. And so that would leave us with a remainder of 15 minutes. And so two hours and 15 minutes is what we should be looking for. Right. In terms of from 1120 a.m. and then expand that to uh, two hours later. Right. And then 15 minutes thereafter. And so if we're at 1120 a.m., uh, two hours and 15 minutes later um, would put us at 135. Answer choice B. That's the answer that we should be coming up with. If you didn't get that answer then you're not following the directions exactly as they stated. And so if you're having trouble with these types of questions, there are a ton of these kind of questions in the reading section, but also passage questions, also um, description questions and tables and graphs and charts. And so we talk about exactly how to tackle those types of questions. And so if you're looking for an experience to really go through questions just like this and certainly understand exactly how to do them and how to do them very quickly and really understand the, the logic and the science that you need to apply when it comes to the reading section, right? And so it's not just whatever sounds good or looks good or how you feel. That's not what's going to help you on this test. What's going to help you on this test, especially in the reading section, which is the first section that you encounter, by the way, is understanding exactly how to take a very logical and, and scientific approach to the reading section. And so I'm Dr. Brian Atkins. With me, you're getting a real scientist, right? I'm a medical doctor, not just Joe Schmo, the tutor. And so if you're looking for that opportunity to really go through questions like this and tons and tons of questions like this, but many other ones in science, English, reading, and math, then definitely, definitely sign up today, okay? And so certainly um, you can go to our website, so adkinsacademy.com, click on the um, get plans and pricing option, and you can sign up right there. Otherwise, feel free to give me a call, 301 nine six zero four nine five zero we'll see you on the next one okay definitely look for our next email with our next brain teaser question all right so this is one of our brain teasers we'll see you'll see another one all right thanks a lot for joining and uh, we'll see you for the next one